this is projection mapping, wherein essentially you project videos customized to a particular shape, in this case a castle. The fun part is, it's not as complicated as it might seem. It's perfectly achievable for any average home. An important question to tackle is how much does it actually cost? Well, for reference, Disney projectors cost around $250,000. There's about 16 of them for the castle. So that's like $4 million. Throw in a couple more million dollars for production and that's it. You have your very own Disney show. Well, the good news is, if your house is not as big as that castle, it costs nowhere close to as much money. Now we'll go over a reference budget to achieve projection mapping on your home. As you know, cost and budget is completely subjective as one's needs. Since the possible budget may vary within a wide range, we we'll categorize them into low, medium and high for the configurations they belong to. And most of your needs can be covered somewhere within this budget. So let's get right into it. First and foremost, what you need is quite obviously a projector. So the technical specs and what you need to consider while getting a projector, those would be discussed later. In this case, we're going to be solely focusing on cost. The most commonly used projectors in the field of projection mapping for home applications is the Optoma 1080 and the Optoma 1090 at this moment in time. But on the lower side of things, you could actually use some of the Epsons. They're extremely good. They're three LCD projectors and they're perfectly workable. As you can see in this image, the side of my house, I've used an Epson 520, which I got literally for $70 on eBay. That's it. So projection mapping is perfectly doable on a $70 projector as you can see right here. Let's say on the low end you might end up spending like 100 bucks on a projector. You can start off with 100 bucks, that's perfectly rational and once you're comfortable you can just sell those projectors and upgrade to a new one. Now usually with a budget projector what happens is the resolution is lower but for the purposes of projection mapping you can perfectly work with a lower resolution projector. As you can see in this example above the front of my house is an Optoma 1080 while the side is an Epson 520 and they look pretty comparable. Again the side of the house is a smaller area but for the vast differences in price the performance is pretty comparable. Also, if you just spend 100 bucks on a projector, you can just sell it back in a couple of years. You won't really lose any money. For the mid-range, let's go with an Optoma 1080, which costs about $800 to $1,000. It's perfectly reasonable to get a used projector as long as they have LAN powers and they're not defective in any fashion. The front of my house is an Optoma 1080 and I got mine on eBay for $500. So on the higher end, the Optoma 1090, you can find one for about $1,500, but let's just give it some room and let's just go with the $2,000 projector. And to be clear, you can spend way more than $2,000 on a projector, you'd get fantastic results. So the upper limit is for you to explore, but for $2,000, you can get an extremely good projector for sure. The moral of the story is you can get by with a budget projector. As you invest more money and upgrade your projector, the quality of your shows will drastically improve as well. On a side note, of course you can invest to getting into a brighter projector, but if you can invest some time and effort into getting your ambience darker, it'll pay off pretty well. So now that you have your projector, next up what you need is an enclosure. Your projector is going to be outside, so it must survive the elements. So most importantly, the projector enclosure must be sealed, as well as have some sort of ventilation to dissipate the heat from the projector. On the lower end of things, you can build an enclosure that works perfectly well for 50 bucks. That's what I built. I do have a course on projection mapping where I go into further details about the enclosure, but my enclosure just costs 50 bucks. Next up, you can have a slightly upgraded version with better materials and more durable for like 200 bucks, or you can go all out and just purchase a ready-made enclosure, which may cost about 500 bucks. Enclosures sometimes do tend to get expensive. Next up, you may need a media player to play your content. You don't want your laptop out there. A perfectly reasonable media player can be about 30 bucks. Most likely the content you're going to be playing is full HD and pretty much every media player does the job well. You can scale up to some extent, let's say 40 and 50 bucks. There might be very slight variation in features. At the end of the day, all you gotta do is play a video file, which is not a big deal at all. And to be honest, in some of the lower end projectors that I spoke of, especially like the Epsons, you can even play your content using a thumb drive. So you can even eliminate the cost of a media player. But for now, let's just leave it in there. Next up, in case you have to raise your projector off the ground, sometimes you need to do that to avoid shadows or in case your house is on a hill, you might need to raise it to get adequate coverage. That's an expense too. 
So on the lower end of things, just be creative. You can save money, you can use any random object to raise your projector. So I'm not gonna consider that in the budget. On the next tier of things, what I used is a tripod. It's a perfectly durable tripod, which goes over six feet high and it's extremely sturdy. You get the freedom to move the tripod, adjust the height, adjust the tilt, gives you complete flexibility and the tripod is just 55 bucks, that's it. And on the higher end of things, some people do tend to make more permanent solutions with posts and concrete, all that jazz. I have no idea what that costs. So let's just go with 100 bucks. Next up, NFM transmitter. Now this is completely optional. I don't use one. The people that watch my show don't really sit in their cars and tune in. It's most likely people who are just walking by. Second tier, let's just go with like 75 bucks and on the higher end of things, 200 bucks, you should get a perfectly good FM transmitter. Next up, speakers. Now this might be surprising, pretty much any speaker kind of does the job. So some of the fancy $20 speakers, trust me, are loud enough for your neighborhood that you can hear the music. Of course, there's no thumping bass, but well, we can always upgrade later. For me personally, I use a $70 speaker, which works perfectly well for me. And on the higher ends, you can get some fancy JBLs or some custom built audio. Let's just go with $300 for now. Next up, security. To be honest, there's no such thing as making a setup completely secure in reasonable amounts of money. It's just gonna be slightly more inconvenient if someone actually wants to steal it. So on the lower end of things, you don't really need to spend any money because the setup isn't that expensive anyways. On the second tier, what I use, I have some ground anchors and some chains and cost me like $25, that's it. On the higher end of things, you can get all fancy, throw some GPS trackers in there, throw some sensors and alarms, and let's just go with $100 for security, okay? This is completely up to you. Next up, software. This is the most important aspect of creating a show. I personally use DaVinci Resolve. It's completely free. There is a paid version to be upgraded, but the free version is completely capable to do the job. So far, I've never upgraded my DaVinci Resolve. As for After Effects, which is quite popular, if you have years of experience working with After Effects and you're extremely competent at it, go with it. Now, if you're gonna spend your time and energy to learn something new, go with DaVinci Resolve without a shadow of the doubt. DaVinci Resolve, After Effects, they're equally comparable in terms of their video editing capabilities. So there's no reason to go for a paid version when there's one that is completely free. You could use professional softwares and they do work great, but they may cost about three to $500. They may require you to have your laptop while playing the show or also be outside while designing the show, which may not be the most convenient for our application. Next up, shows. Well, those are completely free if you make them. All you need to do is invest your time and energy and that's about it. So for the low and mid grade, I'm just gonna put a big fat zero. Building shows can be extremely time intensive. Some of the shows I've built took over 20 hours of effort. One could look at that time as time well spent, it's cause it's kind of fun and you make something of your own, but it's perfectly rational to buy a show as well. So it's up to you. If you wanna get up and running quick, just purchase shows. If you wanna explore, build shows as well. So there you go. Usually shows cost about 100 to 200 bucks and let's just go with three shows to get you off the ground. Finally, we might need some random accessories like shower curtains or extension cords and stuff. So let's just put some numbers in there for accessories. Next up, laptops. Most of you already have one and it's perfectly reasonable to work with what you have. But in case you plan to build extremely custom shows that are extremely processor intensive, you may need a laptop with a good configuration and I'll just throw 1500 bucks in there for fancy laptops, but the upper bound has no real limit. Let's just put $1,500 for now. So let's tally all the numbers up. As you can see on the lower end, it just costs 200 bucks to get your projection mapping journey started. And the fun part is the projector can be used to watch movies as well. So it's not like you'd be spending all the money on projection mapping itself. And to give you a reference of how much the traditional Christmas lights cost, my house is like 50 feet wide. If I had to place one strand of programmable lights across my house, that'd be like 70 bucks just for one strand of lights. So lights are pretty expensive too. On the second tier of things, you'd have an extremely good setup, kind of like the front of my house. And on the higher end of things, five to $6,000, you get an extremely fancy show. And you're taken care of for everything, Christmas, Easter, Halloween, all your holidays can be achieved through projection mapping. As for my setup, here are the exact prices. It's about $800 that I've spent on my setup. I have links to everything that I've personally used in the description below. If you have any particular questions, let me know in the comments. 
For a complete guide on projection mapping as well as custom build show, visit Projection Mapping Academy. Cheers guys, best wishes on your holiday adventures.